Bafana Bafana were expected to roll over against the more fancied Morocco on Saturday, but they surprised all and sundry and produced arguably one of the best performances under coach Hugo Pros. Bafana legend Delon Bagley says they are capable of beating big teams. It was very hard so that Bafana has been criticized for the past years because of their performances. But, you know, beating Morocco, I was very happy. You know, it shows that we still have the, the capability to win games, also to against a, a country that's probably one of the best uh, countries in the world, Morocco, and we beat them 2-1. And I was very happy because you can see uh, the coach, Bruce, is in the right direction. You know, everything what he says, what he's trying to do, he's trying to change things. Bafana qualified for the AFCON with a game to spare when they beat Liberia late in March. Some of their performances in the group were not convincing, such as their 2-1 defeat to Morocco away and a 2 all draw with Liberia at home. And Barkley, who has 73 caps for Bafana and scored 10 goals, says Bafana should beat on Saturday's performance. I was happy and fascinated on the performance what they had against Morocco. You know, it was it was top and they should keep this. You know, they, you can see now they have they have the mojo, they have the self-confidence and uh, they should keep this for all the games that are, are going to come and, um, you know, keep on making the nation proud. The North Africans are ranked first in Africa and 11th in the world, while Bafana are ranked 12th and 66th on the continent and in the world respectively. And Bafana should therefore be high in confidence, going to the Africa Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast early next year. It should give them moral boost because, as I said, Morocco is one of the best teams, or, or actually teams countries in, in, in Africa. And, uh, you know, we, we, we performed well against them. So it should be a moral boost for all the players now when they go to the African Cup to perform, you know, because if you can beat Morocco, why can't you beat all the other countries that are also, also good? Meanwhile, Bagley and his former team Arminia Bielefeld from Germany were in Gahiso in West Rand to donate kit, equipment and conduct a coaching clinic at the Tsuletzeha Public School. The 45-year-old is currently the team's ambassador in South Africa. A beautiful had, had been doing these kind of initiatives for the past uh, three years, you know, coming to South Africa, uh, uh, holding training camps for coaches, holding also training, cam uh, training camps for kids, especially in, in the rural areas, you know, going out and trying to give these kids, you know, uh, hope and faith and putting smile smile on their faces. I'm happy to receive a kid. Yeah, and... I wish to play at Sundowns or Bafana Bafa. I am happy that I received a kit and I want to play Banyana Banyana when I grow up. Other Bafana Bafana legends such as Rowan Fernandez, Siawonga Nkosi and Swiss Suzuma also played for the German club. Vincent Sitsura, SBC News, Kahiso.